You know what? I asked the film crew what they thought of this card before we started filming, and they said, frilly garters, roaring 20s, and great Gatsby. So if you don't think a little bow works for men, maybe you're wrong, because all the guys here, they love this one. So I'm going to show you how easy this card is to make. We're going to go through the products that we'll be using. I've got the Floral Thank You, which is the lovely silhouette uh, uh, stamp set from Just Right Creations. I've got the Vintage Labels 3 from Just Right, and the Vintage Labels 2. There we go. Okay. I'm also going to be using, as the embossing folder, the A4 Tapestry, which is part of my collection. And we are going to be using some gilding wax with that too, so I can't wait. We'll set that aside, and let's start with the background. So I'm just going to do a little piece of milk card, milk colored card actually, and I'm going to put it inside of my tapestry folder. And let's get our base plate and our adapter plate. And I'm going to use just a little shim in the center there. Now that allows, to, that allows us to um, emboss that and it won't give you a, a dead spot because sometimes when you press down as it runs through the machine, it tends to bow a little bit. So you tend to get a tiny bit less pressure in the center, okay? Run that through. And just one quick pass through is all you need. And let's open that up. And I'll move this aside and show you how pretty the emboss is on that. Isn't that lovely? Look at the deep emboss in that. You can really see that, can't you? And to make that show up even more, what we're going to do is use some of the Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Wax. Now, if you've never played with these, they are little pots of just sheer joy. And this is Enchanted Gold. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just going to put my finger in and rub it around and just get a little bit on my finger there and rub that over the pattern. It's so easy and simple to do. And you can really start to see that embossed impression popping out, can't you? It's up to you. If you want to do it a little bit stronger or just a little soft subtleness, to it. It's totally your call on how much you want to put on there. So I'm just going to put a little bit across the pattern here. It's kind of a subtle background and we'll show you how that looks. There we go. You can probably really see that pick up. See the sheen on that when you move the paper around? It's so pretty, isn't it? Okay, so now what I've done is I've gone ahead and put that onto a piece of background card with some black edging on it. Now I've done just a little bit of scoring to give some texture to that edge and I've ruched the ribbon down this side. I'm going to show you how I did that next. So I've put some red line tape. Now this is thin. This is about a quarter of an inch. So let's just peel the liner off of that. And I'm going to use some seam binding. So I've pulled off a piece of that. And I always start off the page and just center it. Now I'm going to flip that around the back so it's not going to be a problem. But what you want to do is just move the ribbon along the tape there and kind of use your thumbnail to touch down and loop it and give it that little bit of a ruched feeling. This is what the guys thought was the garter part. I can see where they got that from, actually. So we're going to move along. And I kind of like to turn it a little bit. I don't like it to be regular. I think it's more um, interesting if it's, it's moving in different directions and it's not perfectly straight. If you prefer it straight, it's easy enough to do. Just keep the ribbon straight out in front of you, not a problem. But I like to kind of twist it and turn it just to give a different look. And if you, if you think, oh, that's too big, you can peel it back up, put your thumb in there, and move it along a little more. See how easy that is to do? It's a fun technique to do with ribbon. Just to, it's a different treatment for your cards, actually. So now when you get down to the bottom, we're just going to trim the excess off 
you can use that for another pro uh, project. I'm going to pick it up and just peel it around to the back because I've got a little piece of tape there. Okay. Now I usually will take some Cosmic Shimmer glue, lift it up and just put it underneath those loops to secure it into place so it doesn't get pulled loose, but you can do that on your own card. So let's tape the back of that and we'll put it onto our background card and then we'll work onto our focal element. Okay, so I've already done a background with a little bit of soft gold card, and I'm just going to mat and layer this into place. That looks pretty good. Okay, next we're going to work on our focal element. Now I've already stamped one of the floral uh, thank you flowers in black archival, and I'm going to do a second one now. So I'm just going to bring my stamp over and ink it up. And when you ink, you want to just tap your pad to your stamp working it through the whole pattern until it's good and solid. Okay, and I'm going to turn it upside down and give it a good push. There we go. Beautiful. Stamps so well. I love these stamps. They are gorgeous. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do like a faux pyramage with this. So I'm going to cut out my first image and it just I'm just going to find the center of the flower and I'm going to use one of the smaller dies in the Vintage Labels 2 set and I'm going to tape it into place. And I think right about like that should work. Let's just catch the edge of that top flower and I'm going to tape it into place and I'm going to run it through the machine. Now even though I'm doing the larger flower I need this one cut first before I know where I'm going to cut that one and I'll show you what I mean. Let's put our plate on top of that and run it through. It's a simple label shape so one pass through the machine is all you're going to need. Okay, now before I take it out I'm going to do some inking. I'm going to use some antique linen and this is my favorite. I, I really like the way that this just softens the milk card and gives it a real vintage look to it. I think that's where they got the Roaring Twenties from. I'm going to work in a circular motion with a little piece of cut and dry foam around the edge and although it doesn't look like much you'll be surprised when we take it out of the die. And all the way around. Okay. And we'll pop that out. And don't forget to untape your die. Put it back on your magnetic sheet. You don't want to lose those. Now, what you need to do is you want to line this up. Find that spot on the image where it looks like it's lined up. And it just takes a little fiddling around with it. That looks good. Leave that into place. And I'm going to use my larger die here. And I'm going to center that so that it's centered around that. And I know basically that's a good centering. And I'm going to tape it into place. We'll just use a piece of this. And then you can take this one out. Okay. Now we're going to cut this one. Run this through our machine and then we can put them together. I'm going to do the same process with this one and do a little bit of inking because I want it to match. And we'll just work quickly around the edge here. And if you work in a circular motion when you're doing your inking with the Distress Ink, it tends to get a softer look to it. And maybe just a little bit more here. There we go. Okay. Now, I've already gone ahead and cut one of the Vintage Labels 3. I'm going to be using this as a kind of a background mat just to give it a, a little bit of different shape to it. So, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of mounting foam on the back of this one. And we're going to layer it up. 
So I like the way just the top edges of this pop out. I think that does give it a little bit of a, um, a vintage, early 20 kind of art deco sort of look. But that's just me. You might think something else. Now we'll put a piece on this and then we'll layer this up so it's just in line with where we originally stamped it. So let me just take a second and get that straight. That looks pretty good. And we can put that into the center of our card. So we've finished our focal element. And I've gone ahead and just used a piece here that I've pre-done with the gilding wax so you can really see it shining through there. And a little, just a little extra little accent to the top and bottom, I've decided to put some tiny little bows on here with some black dazzlers. I'm gonna put one on the upper right in place and one on the lower left. And because my focal element is a flower, I've decided to use a, a tiny little tag, just stamped the phrase hello on there, which is also on your floral thank you. And I'm gonna use a little bit of black distress ink to kind of tie it all in around the edge here. I've embossed it in gold, but to give it a little bit of a frame, I'm just gonna go around the edge and highlight that. I like to do cards where you've got just a tiny little tag, just a, a little sentiment that says, just hello, just because, whatever, just to send a card, not for a particular reason. I think these are the best kind. And I'm gonna tuck that under my bow and finish it off. And there you have it. Really simple card, really, I think it works for both male and female. Lovely and easy to do. I hope you've enjoyed this.